Welcome to Fade Ravel, presented by BetMGM, the show where I, as Square, give you picks while the Sharp decides if he's going to fade me. Our expert today is Action Network college basketball expert Stucky, and today I'm going to give out some picks for the NCAA tournament. But we, before we start, we'll remind you that Fade Ravel is sponsored by BetMGM, the king of sportsbooks. They have an incredible offer for new users. Just sign up now with the code ACTION and you'll get a completely risk-free first bet up to $1,000. That's right, the code ACTION, your first bet is on BetMGM. All right, let's dive into the NCAA tournament. I have been doing horrible at college basketball, uh, the worst of my life, but I am still going to be betting. Surprise. Uh, my first pick is an over, which as an under guy, you should be like, wow, an over. Um, and Stucky right now is sneezing because he's already allergic to it. Uh, I am giving you the over on the Oral Roberts Duke game, 145 and a half points. My philosophy here is that these guys are the second and fourth best foul shooting teams in the tournament. Uh, I think this will be a close game, uh, and I think they'll be going to the line. And it assumes that Oral Roberts will score 69 points. They've scored 69 points in at least every game this year. I like the over of 145 and a half in Oral Roberts Duke. Stuck? Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't sneezing. I was just vomiting as I thought of your pick, your college basketball picks. But well, um, this can't be that bad. I don't mind this one. It's been a year of the over in college basketball. It has. Uh, overs have hit at a really high clip. I think kids are getting used to the pushback three point line. Three point percentages have ticked up across the board. You're right. These two these are two of the best free throw shooting teams in the country. The one thing that would give me pause would be that Duke plays slow and their defense has improved, but I think some of that is smoke and mirrors based on the level of competition. Because they, you know, the ACC was very down this year, and they got to face a Miami team that lost one of their best players in the first minute of the ACC in the ACC tournament. Virginia lost one of their best offensive players recently, so I think some of the Duke improvement is real, but some of it is competition based and i think max acemas who midcourt max he can pull up from anywhere he can give dukes duke some issues in the pick and roll and they have a big man over seven foot tall connor vanover an arkansas transfer who can pick and pop and shoot threes and he can kind of draw lively and company away from the rim so i think there's some matchup problems here or roberts won't be afraid um so and they want to play fast but it sounds like so, you wanted me to take oral roberts I, I do like Will Roberts. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't hate this over, but I won't okay. be playing it. Okay. So just right. luke, lukewarm. Okay. My second pick is Creighton as a five-point favorite against NC State. Now, Creighton did get blown out by what, like twenty-two points to Xavier, then then lost to Marquette. Uh, but I like Ryan Kalkbrenner. I like these guys. I think that they had a really off game. They got off to a horrible start. And I think Creighton's actually going to go pretty far in the tournament. I like this matchup, and I think they're going to roll over NC State as five-point favorites. I don't mind this one either. Um, which is, wow, Oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, look, NC State wants to press. They press about a third of the time. Creighton is the most efficient press offense in the country. You can't really press them. They have a lot of good ball handlers. And NC State's big man... It, you know Burns is he's like a real a natural big yeah. so he, he might have some success on the block against Kalkbrenner but he's not going to pull him away from the basket which is where I think he can really attack this Creighton defense and get them out of sorts so yeah I think that and this is an NC State team that didn't beat a single team yes. in the tournament away from home whether that's a neutral court or on the road I like this Creighton offense the only thing that would scare me one, Creighton either seems to be just really hot from three or really cold. Like, they're never in between if you look at a lot of their results. And NC State, Terquavion Smith, their guard, can get white hot from three. And he has in the gym range. He can pull up from anywhere. If he could go for, like, 35, then you know, NC State's going to be in this game. But I actually like the matchup for Creighton, and uh, I'm buying the Blue Jays. So, yeah, no, no fade here. All right, let's see if we can make history and have a fade Ravel without a fade. My final pick, I'm going to give you a future. Now, when I'm giving you a future, I'm not going to give you Houston or Alabama. I'm going to go as far down on the list that I can go and still have some value. And for me, that is Marquette 
at 17 to one. I think they've been particularly impressive. It's a year where I think it's pretty much anyone's game. Yes, it's not a crazy call. They are a two seed, but I don't think in general people think they can win. And I think they have a shot. And I think it's 17 to one. It's worth buying. I know. I mean, I can't really fade this. It's a future. But right, right. Um, yeah, I mean, the one thing working in your favor is they are in a, a region where the bracket there's a number is great. Of, yeah, there's a lot. I think every team, like all the top seeds are overseeded there. And, you know, if you look at the if you look at Marquette's region, what Purdue is the one seed there. Yes. And they could go out easily. In they, the they, second Purdue, round. Purdue is at, right, Purdue lost to Rutgers, Northwestern. I mean, Purdue can lose. Yeah, and, and yeah. Florida Atlantic and Memphis are two great post defenses. They can pressure those young Memphis Purdue is guards. Be a problem. Yeah. yeah, that's that's problematic. Then I think Duke is overseeded after the run in the ACC tournament. Tennessee is overseeded, and they, they lost one of their guards for the season to an injury recently. You know, Kansas State, I think, is way overseeded as a three. Uh, you know, Kempom has them like 24th. I have them around 27, 28. They, they could be like lose to Montana State. <laughs> uh, yeah. The only I the only thing that would give me pause is, so it's a wide open bracket, is that Vermont profiles as yes. a team yeah. that would pull off an upset in the first round. Now, I think Tyler well, Cole... They've, won, they've be, won a million in a row. Yeah. 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 The, and, like... They have you have to have ball handlers to play Marquette, and Vermont has that. Their their five men is their best shooter. They have five guys who can handle the ball and can all shoot, which you need. And they slow the game down. And Shaka Smart, you know, if you get if Marquette does get deep and they survive the first couple rounds, he thrives as an underdog. He's the second most profitable coach as an underdog over the past twenty five years, only behind Tim Floyd. But as a double digit favorite, his teams it's kind of like Mike Tomlin. They don't bring the same energy. And I think that, so they're prime for upsets. He's only, he's 43, 63 and two against the spread as a double digit favorite, fourth least profitable coach among about he's gotta get He's got to get out of the beginning games, you're saying. Yeah, so Vermont game. is a scary game. I think Marquette will eventually turn it on, but you've seen them kind of be lackadaisical in the spot before. And Vermont has the ball handles, will slow it down. They're well coached. They tweak their lineup about halfway through the season. So their profile is in accounting for you know, their, how they've been, their season-long profile, I should say, for how they've been over the past couple months. That game's dangerous, but if Marquette gets out of, obviously, clearly winnable games, the, their Chaka Smart's always going to be the interesting underdog. Team plays hard. Tyler Kolek has been playing amazing at point guard. And this is the region. I think this is the region that you want to take through. a shot on. So, yeah. yeah, this is the first fade rebel that I'm not out really against yeah, well, all or well. even one. Well, we don't share the picks before, so uh, you didn't know this was happening. I didn't know this is happening, and I just want to thank everyone for joining us on this historical fade rebel where I was not faded. And uh, make sure you subscribe to YouTube uh, to watch all of our latest March Madness content. And uh, if uh, if you like my picks, as Stucky, I would say he likes my picks, but he's not hating them. Uh, not hating. That's a good good. Maybe, 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 maybe next week we'll be back with Tail Ravel. I don't know about that.